white trainers from H&M are not hiking appropriate sneakers. Ah! It's so cold in Mongolia. We were not expecting it to be this cold. Everywhere we've been so far has been so warm. Oh my gosh, this is an Australian winter. <laughs> it's colder than an Australian winter. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh yeah, we need to do that again just to warm up. Yeah. Like jump around. I feel like we need some star jumps or something. <laughs> Jesus. Today's plan is breakfast to mm -hmm. warm up, coffee. Oh, coffee. Then we're gonna jump in the truck and we're actually driving to a volcano today. Yeah. So we're gonna park at the bottom, hike all the way up, do volcano stuff. And then I think tonight, we're not 100% sure, but we're going to either be bush camping at the base of the volcano, mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Or we're gonna be staying with a traditional nomadic family. Also, also awesome. awesome so. so today's just gonna be an awesome day. Yes, but first, coffee. of a volcano right now. So it's a little bit hard to tell on camera, but the crater is actually 100 meters deep, and the diameter of the crater is 200 meters if you were to walk all the way around, which is what I think we're gonna go and try and do now. Also, the weather has completely turned around for us because we were so cold this morning, and now the sun is out. It's a beautiful day. So when you get to the top, you walk up the stairs and you can actually walk around the whole diameter of the crater. When you're up here, you've got this amazing view of the lava fields. I did see a bit of a path that made me think that people had been going down there. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna be doing that today. Nope. Seems a little bit. I've actually never been on top of a volcano. No, neither. I've never ever been to a volcano in my whole life. Guys, remember how we were really cold this morning? Well, the sun's come out. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It is warm and mm -hmm. next up we are going to a lake so we can go for a swim. You can see the lake from up here and it looks so blue and so beautiful. I think it's just going to be a great afternoon. I'm falling off this rock. All okay. Right, let's do this. Let's try. arrived at the lake and of course the beautiful weather that we had earlier today at the volcano is gone it's gone it's definitely gonna rain but that's okay because when we arrived here we actually realized you're not allowed to swim in the lake so I guess it doesn't really matter So behind me we have all of these amazing stone towers and what's kind of special about these stone towers is people come here to build them and supposedly when you add a stone to the top you can make a wish and your wish will come true so they're kind of like wishing stone towers which is really lovely and nice <laughs> all right it's <laughs> It's just starting to rain, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna go. Oh my gosh, it's All right, coming. time to go. Time to go. <laughs> so today the lake did not go to plan. But that's okay because we've just arrived at our camp for this evening and tonight is kind of exciting because we're staying in a traditional gur. So up until this point we've been staying in tourist gurs, but tonight we're going to be sleeping in an actual family style gur. So we did actually have the option. You could actually choose to camp if you did want to, but we kind of opted just to stay in a gur only because we haven't really had the opportunity to stay in a traditional gur yet and we really wanted to. And this is probably going to be our only opportunity. And it's been raining all day, so I reckon it's gonna rain again tonight and it's gonna be freezing. Plus, this way we don't have to set up a tent. 
Like Sally mentioned, we've opted to stay in Agur tonight. So I just want to give you a little bit of a tour of Agur to show you how it sort of differs from the ones you might have seen earlier. As I've walked in, the first thing that I notice is just how colourful it is. If you have a look, you can see everywhere, every single wall, even bits of the roof are just covered in colour. So we've got beds on either side, we've got a sitting area, we've got a cooking area, we've got a little table, we've got a clothesline that goes near the fire. Everything just seems to be a little bit more, a little bit more authentic. So when we walked into the Gur, in fact you can see it even here, the rope it looks like it's made from horse hair or yak's hair. So the rope itself is actually being bound or entwined together to form a bit of a rope. So you can see how some of these gurs traditionally were held together. One of the other really <laughs> awesome things about staying with this particular family is tonight they're going to be cooking for us, which is going to be really exciting. It is going to be really exciting because up until this point, we've pretty much just been eating in restaurants inside mm. of the tourist girls, which been really delicious food, but hasn't been 100% authentic. It's been like Mongolian with a Western twist. And aside from that, we've been bush camping, so we've been cooking ourselves. So it's going to be really nice to try some authentic Mongolian food. We make some rocks hot in here in the fire. And then we just put some meat in there and put some hot rocks in there and then close them and then we will wait for one hour, two hours. 